Hello everybody, my name is Sean. I am here doing a video request on how to import your DVD collection into Plex. So, before making this video, I imported a movie through. Let's go to the actual, the actual application. Mac X DVD Ripper Free Edition. So I'll give you an idea. It finds the film. And you have lots of different choices to choose from. Uh, Apple TV MPEG-4, which I've imported a lot of my videos on this format, and other ones. So anyway, I've I've done this, and uh, it takes about depending, I guess, how long the film is. It takes about a half hour, I guess, and I will show you the finished. Product. Let me find it. Where is it? Okay, there it is, right here. And it comes out to six forty by three sixty by films that are 235 or 185 which again it's your own personal use anyway uh, so <coughs> stay away from my house so as you can see the quality is pretty decent uh, again, it's not HD quality, but it's something at least. Now, if you really want to go all out and get DVD, true DVD quality, I know we're in the age of HD and stuff, uh, you can go through MKB which let's see oh okay anyway um you just need a key and I've got that key so um it, but anyway it uh Let's see here. It converts your movies as they are on the disc. So as you can see, you are getting practically DVD quality for a um, with, with the good thing with um, MKBs is you can have your 5.1 sound, but uh, as you, and they don't take up too much space, 5.8 gigs. But if you want to just do a quick rip of your film, 2.0 audio. You would want to go with nine oh six point megs for Monster House. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter. Uh, these are free. Um, there are different versions. 
um, of, of this. Let's see here. Okay, they also have have ones for MKVs. So you can convert your MKVs into MPVs. That's a mouthful. So, and it does take some time, but it's worth it. I'll give you an idea how one looks. Let's see here. Action movies. Adventure movies. Die Hard 3, for example. Here, it's it just, again, this is just from DVD, so it looks crappy, I know. You Should have a nice day, sir. Ray. But anyways. You feeling uh, all right? Not to get too personal, but a white man standing in the middle of the hall and a sign that says, I hate niggas. Zero sound, so. And let's see, the quality isn't that bad. It, go, it drops, let's see. I think this was like four gigs, so it dropped it by two gigs. But as you can see, it takes a long time. It's. It began at 3.24 p.m. last year, and it ended at 5.16 p.m. So it does take a long time. Walk away, come back later, I guess. But most of the time, I just went with the MKB thing, uh, with, with this one. So anyway, from that, what you do after is, let's just see here, you go under, let's see, what would I put Monster House as, I guess I'll call it a comedy, I guess, I don't know why, it's a kid's film, but, alright, so I'm going to import Monster House in my movies. Take out the title one. <clears throat> Go into Plex. Go under Movies and Update. I just upgraded to a Plex Pass. All right, so we don't want that poster. We are going to pick the posters that we want. Let's see here. And we will click that and voila, there's Monster House comes with all the info that you need, extras, and now what we'll do is we will go under Plex Home Theater, and there it is right there. 
Okay, so we are going to press play. And I guess this is the trailer for Monster House. No. <sighs> I guess that's Cinderella. I I'm not sure. But anyway, so that is how you can import a movie from Mac X DVD Ripper. I will put the link for the software on the video. And I hope you enjoy this and this is a good experience. Any other questions, comments, what have you, don't be afraid to ask. Thank you very much. Have a great day.